Okay, here's how to set up the aim point calibration strip from Rowan Key. And what I've done is I've used my tape measure and I've me measured up a, a 10 feet line and I've put down my pegs with the green pegs starting at three foot. So I've, we put the larger pegs at three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 feet. They're evenly spaced. What I'll do now is take the tape measure away. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up to this end and I've got the calibration strip down at a right angle to where we're putting from. So we're putting across a 2% average slope. So if you come in here, you'll see I've put the pegs that correspond with the distances in these holes. So these greens are about a stimp 10, but what you actually have in your pack is stimp 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. So we've got our average slope value of two here. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna look at fitting fingers into those gaps to match arm length and finger size. So what we do is we come into three feet and I'm gonna play a two finger read. And you'll notice I've got quite a straight arm here measuring off the lowest edge of the cup. So I've got a pretty straight arm gives me a read of 2%. So it's green at my feet and the green peg by the hole. Now I come back to the red playing against off the lowest edge and I notice there's just a little bit more arm bend. So for me, I'm a little bit straighter on a stimp 10 when I'm at three feet. So I've got a little arm bend taking me to the red peg. Okay, same arm bend is now matching blue. I'm now at six feet. That's a perfect match. Seven feet. Right, it's just starting to be a little bit more break than the two fingers is giving me. And when I come back to the, the eight feet number, it's now a slight under read. So what I need to do here is now place my fingers in the middle of the hole. So for me, I'm putting fingers in the middle of the hole when I get to seven feet, eight feet, sorry. So when I'm at eight feet, I'm fingers in the middle of the hole. Let's run through that again. So for me, very straight arm off the low edge for, for three foot. Okay, consistent arm bend off low edge for red or four feet. Same arm bend off low edge for the five feet. Six feet, low edge again. Okay, seven feet, low edge again. Now when we get to the eight, I've got to go to the middle of the hole. So for me, my crossover, as we call it, happens at eight foot. And if I go back to nine, middle of the edge cup takes me to nine feet, and at 10 feet, perfect. Middle of the cup is now giving me my 10 foot read. So the idea of the calibration strip is working out where your fingers need to be placed to match the correct break for the greens you are playing on. People have different crossovers at different places. I've known people be low edge all the way up to 10 feet and I've known people with quite small fingers to be middle of the cup quite early on, so maybe at three or four feet. I would say the average is around six, but the idea of these calibration strips is to find out what suits you now we've done that part, it becomes a fantastic training aid for actually hitting putts. And what you'd do is you'd play the three, the four, the five, the six, the seven, the eight, the nine, the 10 foot putts, one after the other. You're practicing lining up the line of the ball with the peg if that's what you do. You can also practice your aiming. But more importantly, this is one of the best training aids or best drills you could do from three to 10 feet. Have a go, see what you think, provide us some feedback.